So, unbelievably, I've still got a cold. I'm literally on my last legs. I can still barely breathe. And I've still got a stinking cough and headache. So, I apologise to everyone who has commented on the last few videos. I ain't had any energy, any time. I ain't really looked at my phone. I ain't really been on Twitter or anything like that either. So, yeah, apologies for that. I know you all put a lot of time and effort into that. And that's why I am still putting out content, even though I shouldn't really be doing it and should just be resting up but it is what it is anyway enough of me whinging let's get on to the game tonight in true Arsenal fashion the kids that got us through to this part of the competition into being into a position where we could top the group tonight which ultimately we have still done in true Arsene Wenger fashion he decides to drop Joe Willock and Reese Nelson now Sorry, I don't quite get that. Um, as a young couple of prospects coming through our ranks that have played really, really well in this competition and helped us get victory after victory, I find it really odd that you would drop both of them. I just don't get it. You know, you go with a midfield pairing of Elneny and Coquelin. Why? This team ain't won a fucking game all season. And you've gone with two defensive-minded midfielders away to a team that haven't won a game. I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. Both of them kids must be thinking, well, don't matter how well we play, we're still going to get dropped. You know, both of them should be knocking on the door for first team football. Yeah, I'm, and when I say first team, I mean Premier League football. You know, Reese Nelson come on this evening and he nearly scored a great goal. Fair play to him. You know, he was spraying the ball about and he had a little jinking run and the keeper saved it. But it was a nice height for the keeper. And obviously he'll learn over the years that he maybe should have driven it low into the bottom corner or pull it the other side of the keeper. But that was really all we did in the second half. Can anyone remember Jack Wilshere right at the death? You know, it's... it's I look, I'm not having a whinge. And I'm not... Well, I am having a whinge. <laughs> but... This team ain't won a game. So I don't get what the starting lineup was about. Why was Danny Welbeck in it? Why are we playing two holding midfielders? Why are we not going all guns blazing to go and blitz this team in the first half an hour and then sit back and shut up shop and just go, yeah, cool, we'll take 3 4 nil, and we'll ping you more on the break? I don't get it. I really don't. Um, I thought Maitland Niles, I thought he'd done really well in this game, and he's not a left wing back. And. There's been a few games out in Belarus when I went out there. He was really good that night at left wing back and arguably our best player. I know there's, there's no real candidates for that because they were all pretty shit to be fair. But Maitland-Niles did really well. So I'm going to give him man of the match tonight for me personally. I don't know what you guys think. Obviously, you'll let me know in the comments section. But we're through. I wanted to get through. We've topped the group. Um, we have a game to spare against Barté. So, it's not all doom and gloom, but I really, really want to see Reese Nelson and Joe Willock starting games. You know, if, you, if, 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 if you're them and you've played every game in this competition and it comes to this game, you're thinking, right, well, I'm starting. And then you don't start. What are you thinking? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, I'm out of here, peeps. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Do what you gotta do. I'm gone. Laters, peeps.